Hi everyone, this is Denis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply linear regression in Rapid Miner. So as a recap, regression is a type of supervised learning in which the target value, uh, the target data is numerical, not categorical. Remember, in classification, we had the categorical variables as our, tra as our labels, our targets, but this time, with regression, we have numerical data as our target data. So let's take a look uh, at Rapid Miner, how, how we can just implement this linear regression. First of all, I'm going to require a, a proper data set for this kind of an analysis, and I'm going to use, yeah, well, introduce a new data set for you, which is Johnson & Johnson. So let's go ahead and just, just print this out and maybe we will plot so that we see how the data looks like. All right, so basically we have two columns here. The first column is the time and the second one is the, um, well, apparently this is the, um, the value of the company, so the value of the stock of the company. If you take a look at the visualization, we have the time axis as X and the value just changes in time, right? Right, so this is what we are going to try and fit our linear model with. All right, so to do that, because I'm loading it from CSV, I need to set the role. Otherwise, Rapid Miner is not going to know which one is my uh, my label. So I'll just I have to go ahead and select Johnson and Johnson and set um, label here. And then I should just use a well linear regression model, linear regression block. All right, so I will also require an apply model here to apply my model. And I would also like to measure the performance, but this time the regression performance. I'm missing an R here, yes. Per performance regression there we go all right so uh, as always apply model requires unlabeled data so to provide unlabeled data i need to split the data i'll just go ahead and create the partitions two of them 0.7 is the training set, 0 0.3 is the test set as always. All right. Now the first partition, which is the larger one, is going to um, be an input to my linear regression model. And the second one is the unlabeled. And the unlabeled part will be the input to my apply model. Right. So I, I would also like to measure the performance. Pay attention that this is a regression performance block. And then I would also like to print out this one and the performance itself as well. Uh, one thing that you should also pay attention is, uh, is that you have a bunch of selections of error metrics for measuring the performance of regression. All right, so you can just select, well, uh, there is a quite, a quite a selection here. So you can just go ahead and select whatever you want from this list. But I'm just going to uh, select the root mean squared error and absolute error. If I run this, yeah, the performance tab is going to show me the root mean squared error and the absolute error. So th because this, these were the ones that I wanted. And if we take a look at the example set, now we have one more column, one additional column in which we have the data of uh, predicted labels, right? And um, so th this time the labels are numerical, so we have the uh, prediction also numerical. Let's go ahead and check the visualization. The blue, uh, well, line here is actually our, uh, well, this is the actual data, the test data, which is just printed out here, uh, visualized. But this one, the, the straight line is my, the, the outcome of my linear model because our uh, model is linear regression, right? Because we try to fit the data to a line represented with a linear uh, formula. I think that is it about linear regression. So yeah, linear regression in rapid minor.